Today, as I promised, we keep on talking about our lips, how to make them moisturize, how to make them soft to smooth, so they look all nice and fresh and all. Today, I did not put any lip balm, anything on my lips for the whole morning, especially for this video, to show you what a simple homemade lip scrub can do for your lips. And what else can you add to make them moisturize, to make them smoother, to make them look better, look the best? So I took the before uh, video of my lips, before all the procedures that we're gonna do now, and I will take the after video, and you can see the before and after at the very end of this video. So stay with me to see what two just two simple things can do to make your lips awesomely beautiful and attractive let's start with one thing with a natural home remedy that all of you can do and that is absolutely easy and simple to do yourself at home you can do it i'm sure you've got both ingredients uh, already in the kitchen and let's start with the lip scrub super natural super good so what do we need for that we need a small cup we need dun, 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 honey and we need sugar very simple you take a spoon of sugar and you put it in this little bowl over here, over here, over here, just a teaspoon of sugar. Then put the sugar aside and we need a teaspoon of honey. You can use any honey unless you're allergic to honey, yeah? I am not allergic, so I am doing this leap scrub very very often supernatural it does take a while to get the sugar into honey you see how it's all funny so we need to twist and turn twist and turn and some more to get this scrub ready for our lips you can add a little bit of water if you want to i usually don't add water anyone anyone can do it it's a hundred percent natural it's super good for your lips it makes your lips nice and soft and it looks it it just nurture them from the outside there we go now it is all ready let me show you how it all looks see that is your lip scrub I do not recommend to store it. I recommend to use it ASAP. Now, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to prepare a little cotton pad. I'm just gonna put it, like, soak it in water a little bit so I can remove the scrub after we do the procedure. Now you take a little bit of scrub. Put it on your lips. nice and sweet round moves I would have your lips relaxed when you do it okay yeah. it also increases blood circulation which makes them plumper a few minutes not a lot okay feels like a dessert What it does, it removes all the dead skin cells. It, oh wow, it's so sweet. It moisturizes your lips. It increases the blood circulation that will return the, this beautiful juicy color to your lips and that will make them a little bit plumper because it is also a lip massage, isn't it? There we go. No. You can wash your face. 
I'm just going to remove it with a cotton pad soaked in water. This is just the dry one. Feels like I just had a dessert. And now to the lip balm, to the natural ointment that all of you should get. And they're not paying me for it, right? They are not paying me for it. This is one of the best remedies, natural remedies made from papaya that you can have. And not only it heals your lips, heals all the cracks, heals all the, you know, imperfections on your lips. It moisturizes your lips so much that they look like literally double the size. I use it usually at night. During the day, I rarely wear lip balm because I don't need it. Because when you do face yoga, your lips just just simply don't dry because you you got you know all that blood flow going towards your face like bringing nutrients to your face that you don't really need to use a lip balm they are moist as they are they are absolutely perfectly normal i might put some lip balm when i do the video or something just to get a little you know like light a little flicker uh but apart from that i rarely 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 use lip balm during the day but I use the lip balm, this one in particular. I use it at night as a night mask for my lips because I just love the way they look in the morning after this. This is a natural balm made from papaya. It is originally from Australia and it is about a hundred years old. The recipe, not this lip balm, but the recipe in particular, the recipe that is used to create, to make the slip balm is over a hundred years old and it still works like a clockwork. And not only this lip balm is good for your lips, it is also good if you've got uh, burns, if you've got scratches, uh, blisters, it heals all of the above. It heals all of it in no time and literally days. And for your lips, especially, it is great in winter and it is winter now. So let's all use it. Let's see what it is. I will show you this lip balm, uh, which is an original version of it. And I will show you another copy that I personally have. I tried it and I, I can't say I don't recommend it. But I can say I didn't like it as much as this one. And so meet Lucas Papa. This is my friends. I'm just going to do like this. Look at it. I'm telling you, they're not paying me for it. Oh, they should, but they're not. It's wonderful. It is so good for your lips. It is insane. And it costs nothing it, it is definitely under 10 dollars 10 euros 10 pounds 10 whatever you want it to be it is under that 10 it costs nothing you can get it you should get it you must get it if you want to have more beautifully looking lips the way it looks is like this it already comes as a lip balm so it is transparent it's completely almost it's a doorless like it looks like Vaseline, but it's not Vaseline. And then you just apply. My little secret is I'm not going to, well, actually we'll do it now. When I do it at night, I also apply it around my lips. You know, over here. And here where you get the cracks. I still have a little bit of sugar after the scrub that we've done. Do some more. There you go. Odorless, completely transparent, completely natural. The best thing to have on your lips. Better than any expensive lip balm or any 
mainstreamly bomb that you can think of. This is the best thing ever, my friends, and you should definitely get it if you have troubles with your lip area. All right, so like this, after doing this scrub and putting this lip balm on, I would normally go to bed. But I'm gonna blow some more on camera right now and wait until, you know, maybe 15 minutes. Uh, and then I will show you the after picture, how much volume did my lips gain after this scrub and after putting this lip balm on and how much more attractive they look. And in the meantime, I'm going to show you the lip balm, which is a copy of this one, or they at least, at least maybe it's not the same thing, but they try to look the same. Just a second. Is this one over here. My friends, this is something that you can find in pretty much any catalog of any airline on board. I do not recommend it. Copy, original. Copy, original. It's not bad, the copy, yeah? It's okay, it moisturizes, but it doesn't stand nowhere near this miracle thing. If you can't get, for whatever reason, this one, you can get this one, but it's not as good. I can tell you it's not as good. And to start with, as you see, I've been using it for a while now, just testing. Uh, and you see, to start with, it just looks like a normal food. Not sure about it, because it should look like a lip balm. All right, so that's to start with. But apart from that, it doesn't moisturize your lips as well as this one. This is the best thing, you, the best investment, this uh, under $10 investment that you can do for your lips to get better looking, voluptuous, uh, fuller, call it whatever, just better looking lips. Let's start from that. So if you, if you experience problems in your lip area, if they crack, if they dry all the time, if they, just if you're not happy about them, then do this scrub that I just showed you. And then just before you go to bed and put the lip balm on during the whole night and keep it there and you will see how your lips will change after this little treatment. And use this lip balm during the day if you're still not doing face yoga. Because if you are doing face yoga, you should, and if you're doing it for a long time, you should see the improvement in your lip area. You should feel you do not need a lip balm at all during the day and stop biting your lips this is not good for you okay stop doing it so let's do a quick recap if you have troubles with your lip area you do the scrub homemade super easy takes seconds you put the lip balm the lucas papao lip balm yeah australian original made from papaya you use this one every day put it on your lips like you would put uh, any lip balm any lipstick on your lips yeah so use that instead of that and use it at night a really generous layer over your lips and leave it on your lips during the whole night and you will not recognize your lips in the morning because it is so much better than any other lip mask that is out there, the Sephora sells, that someone else's sells. There's just like the best thing ever. And my friends, if you don't want to invest into this lip balm, then invest in face yoga because face yoga makes not only your lips better, it makes your entire face better. And if you like that video, just drop me a comment and tell me if you are going to use this lip balm and if you're going to use face yoga to get your lips better. And I love you all. And please subscribe to my channel to get more tips. And I will see you on the other side.